Hi everyone! Today we are going to be making art with beets. But before we get into all of the different kinds of art you can do using beets, let's talk about what beets are. We eat the root parts of the beets, which grow underground here. Beets are really healthy for us because they're high in vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. Now beets come in a few different colors. They come in golden, which kind of looks orange on the outside, but when you cut it open, it's a nice bright yellow. We've also got Kyoja beets. Now these are striped on the inside and they're really cool. But for most of our art today, we're going to be using these red beets. The red beets have a really deep purple color and they're great for making art. Now we're gonna show you how to make paint with the beets. So to make our beet paint, the first step is to wash our red beets. We're gonna make sure there's no more soil on there, no more grit on there, and they're nice and clean. You'll need a cutting board and a knife, and you'll need an adult to supervise you while you do this. And you may just wanna ask your adult to help cutting the beets anyway. So I'm going to make my bear claw and claw my beet, and I'm gonna cut off this little stem here. I'll use this part to make our paint, so I'll throw that into my pot. Then I'm just gonna cut the beet into small pieces and continue to put them into my pot. It doesn't have to be very precise. Now once you get a flat edge, it's easy to put that flat edge down and keep cutting your beet up. You can already see the bright purple color on the knife and it can stain your fingers too. You might see some of that pigment coming off on my fingers. It's such a pretty color. Once you have your beet pieces cut to about the size of a quarter, you can put them in your pot. They don't have to be perfect or all the same size. Whatever you wanna do, as long as the inside of the beet is exposed, you'll be able to pull the pigment out to make paint. Okay, throw the rest of this in my pot. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a splash of vinegar into the pot. The vinegar will help the color really pop once it gets onto paper. So I'm just gonna estimate and do a little splash, just like that. The next ingredient is some salt. Just a little sprinkle, and again, that's to help the color really pop. Now the last thing we're going to add is some water. And we're gonna add enough water to cover the beets completely. So I'm gonna bring this over to my sink, fill it up with a little bit more water, and then put it on the stove to start cooking. Let's do it. Now that we've got our beets covered in water, a splash of vinegar, and a little bit of salt, we're going to turn our stove to medium heat and cook for about 15 minutes. You should see the water start to turn darker and darker reddish purple. Okay, so this is a golden beet. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like inside. Whoa, look at that. It's bright yellow. And you can use these to paint with as well. They're just not gonna be as dark as the red ones. And this is the Kyoto beet. Whoa, look at that. It looks like a candy cannon inside. How cool is that? You can also use the red and golden beets just like crayons. I'm going to cut them here to make it into a crayon shape so they're easy to use. Alright. Alright, I got my beet crayon. Now let's see how it works. Look at that, I can write my name. How 
cool. <laughs> what do you think you could draw with these beads? Try the golden ones too and maybe get creative. Wow, so beautiful. <laughs> you can also use beads as stamps. Try cutting your beads into different shapes and then pressing them onto your piece of paper. Then use a crayon, marker, or pencil to draw in designs around them to make an awesome picture. You can also use the bead paint to tie-dye shirts. Using rubber bands to tie up the shirt in any design you might like. Then you use the bead paint in a measuring cup and pour it over the shirt and let it set for 24 hours. And then you get cool shirts like this. So cool! <laughs> You'll know your paint is ready when it's a deep shade of red, just like this. So, we pulled our beet paint off of the stove and poured it into a small glass jar. And now, we use it just like any watercolor paint. So what I like to do is dip my brush in, and if it's really drippy, I'll let it onto the paper towel, and then you can start painting with it. Now, one of my favorite things to do with beet paint is make Valentine's Day cards with it. Because you can usually still get beets in February from the farmer's market or the local grocery store. And they are perfect color for your Valentine's Day cards. So I'm painting a heart here with my beet paint. Maddie, that looks so good. Oh, thanks. What are you painting? I'm painting a beet with my beet paint. Awesome. Thank you so much for making beet art with us today. We would love to see the artwork you made too. So tag us at GB Farm to School on social media to share with us. Yay! Thanks for watching! Yay!